Hey guys, well, time for another Bayou video. This is the uh, same Bayou I've worked on over the last couple of years. Kind of put off messing with it a lot here lately because I've had a couple other four wheelers to play with. But uh, this has always been my little experiment bike, goofing off with it, just seeing what I can do with it. Um, that was a guy that did the same thing to his bike that I've done to this one. Even vent all the vent lines, snorkel pipe, the whole nine yards. And he uh, sent me a little message saying that he had a problem with the crankcase vent clogging up and actually blowing out a seal, uh, which would be this larger diameter pipe here. And I have noticed as I'm riding this bike that it does blow a bunch of junk out of here. And I kind of wonder just how dirty this little motor is and how much it, what's the potential of it clogging up that pipe. Because originally it actually had two uh, vent lines that ran out of it. it came off the top of the motor in a T and then uh, From there Went one went up and one went down. Well, obviously if you're going to swamp these bikes You can't have that one coming off the top of the motor and going down because uh, It'll cause it to uh, You know get water in the engine which could be bad So I don't really think I can get an eye on the pipe where it's at but either way, you'll see it better when I pull the plastic off. So we're going to get to doing that. And uh, going to make a few modifications. See how it all works out. So we're going to make a little change here. Originally the line actually went that way. The other side teed off and went down and up. So we're going to kind of do that general idea. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do it until I start routing pipe. But I think I'm going to bring it over to this side. Run it back in here and give it a downhill run so the crap that wants to go up the pipe runs down and into a reservoir and then run another vent line from the reservoir back up again. That sounds like a lot of trouble for the crankcase vent on this guy, but I'm starting to wonder if you gotta do it. The reason I say that is I got a little fresh oil going on right here, where I think maybe the crankcase pressure is building up a little bit too much and it's causing it to leak, possibly, because I haven't had this leak before. Um, the other guy that shot me a PM about his bayou, he said he blew out crankcase gasket because this pipe had gotten plugged so we're gonna do a little change on it because I'd rather do it now than end up yanking the motor for some other stupid reason like that and I'll probably go ahead and put a gasket on this plate too while I'm at it just to prevent that leak that you got that nice fresh oil there from uh, persisting here's a uh, little shot of the uh, a nice good exploded view of the uh, snorkel tubes I did put on the bike running all the way back to the uh, and I ended up doing away with the tub drain gaskets I used a long time ago because they were causing me more issues than were, uh, were worth it so I went back to sealing it with a gasket sealer 
And uh, same thing here. Ran it up the same way. Kind of goes up like so. You know, so you can kind of see what I did. Another little thing I did change in the inside of the airbox is what I was actually using to clamp the connectors with. There's two double nutted metal one and a half inch uh, lock washers and lock nuts instead of the plastic ones because the plastic ones kept popping off and giving me issues there. So that actually seems to hold pretty good. So uh, just a little review on minor modifications I've made on the uh, existing snorkels. And just in case you were curious as to what was leaking, here's your ring, here's your cover, there's your cam gear, top of the head. Let's look behind door number one. Anyway, we'll uh, put this seal back on here and seal it back up and that should take care of that oil leak anyway. So, minor repair while I'm trying to figure out other ways to tear up my little bayou. All right guys, here's what we got. This is the vent lines I have run on the bayou. Um, never did document the vent line process, but I've redone the process. So this is what we got. Basically you got the uh, fuel line going to the fuel tank, or the fuel breather anyway. Um, these other two lines are just the rear end and the rear brake hub. You know, the rear end definitely got a vent. The brake hub, well, it leaks anyway, so, but I vented it just for the sake of doing it. That's all I got running up here. These other two black lines are both crankcase vents, and I'll show you why, which I've kind of halfway explained earlier. Run along the frame here. Um, right about here, there's a T. The T goes into a pipe over the top of the motor, goes into the crankcase. That is actually your crankcase vent right there. Um, the T drops back, straps to the motor, runs under the snorkel pipe, past the carburetor, exhaust pipe, runs right on down to this little canister here. I've got two 3 8 inch uh, threaded MPT fittings uh, that are in the canister. The canister itself is just kind of a catch-all reservoir for the crap that the motor is blowing out. Moisture, a little bit of oil residue and stuff because I've noticed the old crankcase the way I had it, it was puking it all out on top of the bike so I know it pukes up some stuff anyway. Occasionally if you got to, which I've got this sucker kind of tight right now, but Take that screw out, drain this out, if it, see if it ever collects any crap. I don't know if it really does or not, but gotta have a place for this stuff to drain too, so that's my drain. The factory original had the T, the pipe came down, strapped to the back of the engine, right up in here, and just drained straight to the ground. Um, but of course we can't have that if the bike's gonna be underwater, because the water would run up the pipe, into the top of the motor, and bam, then you're flooded. Well, in your crankcases anyway. So. To ensure that airflow would go that direction and stuff would drain that way, I had to then in turn run a second pipe back out of that. Uh, there you go, that's a good view of it. Uh, reservoir, back up the frame. Uh, kind of strapped it alongside the other pipe so it's held off the exhaust pipe. You can't really tell very well, but it is. There you go, there's your two pipes. And then it runs back up and straps to the hoses that are going back up to the vent lines that I have sitting here. So once I put the plastic on, run them up into the pipe, everything, uh, that's pretty much it. That is my, hopefully going to be my resolution for the crankcase ventilation, as you can see. So. There you go, that's the breakdown. All right guys, one other thing, uh, I guess while I got it apart, I'll show a few details of some of the uh, snorkel strapping that I did later on down the road. I found worked better. 
these really big straps that you can get at Lowe's. They're just big zip ties, basically. We're going to run around the edge of the gas tank here. Strap it up like so. Now, every time you tear your bike apart, you got to buy more of these, but they get about 20 in a pack of 10, $10, something like that. So, you got a few times to tear it apart before you got to buy any more. Um, worked real good about holding that pipe right where it needed to be. Um, even better than strapping it to this metal bracket I used to strap it to. And I'll uh, show you the same thing on the other side. This tube here is the atmospheric vent tube on the carburetor. You can see where it goes to the carburetor. Do not run this up with snorkel pipe. It has to be a certain length, basically, to uh, make the carburetor act right. I found that out later, talking to somebody who knows a lot more about Kawasaki's than I do. And it was made to lay right there, like so. So I would recommend putting it right back where it belongs so you don't have some really erratic running on your bike. Um, that's the one thing you can't run up the pipe. So if you get that underwater, I, you know, water gets in there, I don't know what's gonna happen. It's gonna make it run like crap, but maybe not so much. All right, guys, this is the uh, finished Bayou after I redid my snorkels. Uh, I like this way better than I had it before. Um, you know, this, it doesn't really goes without too much instruction you just kind of create it and make it the way you want it and I made a couple of brackets to strap the snorkel up so it would be good and uh, solid mounted that center one here is just for the vent lines you can see it doesn't go all the way down um, just for aesthetics really they run up into here you know there's your vents and uh, these two are of course your uh, two breathers that come off the uh, air box. Kind of like that better than having the one on the left and the one on the right, mainly because they're centered in the mic and I just think it looks cooler and probably a little more functional. Remounted my ammo box to the front of the uh, rack with some new bolts. You can see those guys right there. So that's pretty much it. We're going to uh, hopefully I'll find out how well it's going to work here pretty soon. I'd like to post another video of that. Um, been out riding it a little bit. But there again, there's my uh, overflow or that uh, reservoir I installed earlier. And of course, the exhaust snorkel. Never really got good documentation on that either. Welded a couple of flanges to the existing muffler and then welded the pipe to that. Worked out pretty good and even put a uh, little clamp and welded the clamp to the rear rack. So it's good and solid, not going anywhere. Now that's pretty much it. You guys uh, appreciate you watching the video and check out my other videos if you have time. And uh, y'all have a good one.